Sophie Wessex becomes emotional as she finally meets 90-year-old she befriended on the NHS Volunteer Responders Scheme after calling her every fortnight during the pandemic. Sophie Wessex appeared visibly moved when finally meeting the 90-year-old woman she had befriended during the pandemic. The Countess, 57, became emotional as she greeted Edna Farley in person after arriving at Newsham House in Liverpool to celebrate the pensioner's 90th birthday. Sophie was invited to mark the milestone with an afternoon tea after striking up a friendship with Edna over the pandemic as part of the NHS Volunteer Responders Scheme. Sophie spent time talking to Edna via telephone whilst being a check-in and chat volunteer with the Royal Voluntary Service during the coronavirus crisis. Appearing in bright spirits today, the royal donned a vibrant blue and black striped skirt for the occasion. T. Looking typically stylish, she teamed the statement garment with a navy jacket and matching high heels. She opted for a smattering of glamorous makeup and put her hair in a trendy half-up, half-down style. Sophie and Edna could be seen sharing an emotional hug before sitting down next to one another to chat. Yesterday, Sophie was all smiles as she opened a new charity research program at Swansea University. The Countess, who is patron of the Scar Free Foundation, visited the charity's facility in Wales to mark the launch of their new program, which aims to enhance the development of a facial reconstruction. The royal was typically stylish in a pink coat featuring statement black stitching across the hem, paired with a simple black polo neck jumper and slim fit trousers. Sophie was seen meeting Elizabeth Sof, 8, a young patron of the charity who suffered devastating burns as a baby when her cot caught fire at just six months old. The mother of two appeared in high spirits as she chatted with staff at the facility, before unveiling a plaque to commemorate the launch of the research project. Sophie visited the facility's laboratories where she met those currently working on the world's largest study of people living with facial scars and the skin cancer. During her visit Sophie chatted with Elizabeth, who was left with third-degree burns over 60% of her body when she was a baby, and was seen holding her hands before embracing her in a hug. The Scar Free Foundation Health and Care Research Wales Programme of Facial Reconstruction and Regeneration Research will advance the development of 3D bio-printed facial cartilage. Using human cells and plant-based materials, the cartilage will be used for future treatment of people in the UK and across the world who are either born without body parts, or live with facial scarring as a result of burns, trauma or cancer. The study includes research into the psychosocial impacts on patients to ensure that effective healthcare solutions can be developed. 